Hi everyone, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the differences between Shopify Plus and Shopify, and we're gonna help you discover when is the right time to make the switch. Welcome back to another episode of I Love ROI. My name's Meredith, the creative director at Bidico, and we help e-commerce companies scale their paid traffic. So let's get into it. So chances are, if you're watching this video, you are already on Shopify or you're thinking about being on Shopify. And currently there are 500,000 merchants on Shopify and only 3,600 merchants on Shopify Plus. And so on Shopify Plus, you've got brands like Lisa, Kylie Cosmetics, hey Kylie, <laughs> and um, you know MVMT watches. So you've got huge brands that are pushing really, really big volume. And right now, I would say about 60% of our clients are on Shopify Plus. But if you're not on Shopify Plus, you're wondering like, what is the big deal? Why is it so much better? Why are people on it? And we're gonna run through the differences. So we've broken it down into six big time perks that we think differentiate Shopify Plus from Shopify. And the first one is an account manager. So when you sign up for Shopify Plus, you get a dedicated merchant success manager and they basically are the master of all answers. So anytime you have a question, you have an issue, all of your problems get expedited and you get answers and solutions pretty immediately. Um, if you have experience on the back end of Facebook advertising, this is 100% equatable to when you graduate from a basic account manager who knows nothing to an FB rep that like blows your mind with their knowledge and you're like, where have you been hiding? So it's kind of like that, basically concierge. The second difference between Shopify Plus and Shopify would be flow. So the beauty of Shopify Plus is that you're able to automate back-end processes and systems. So for example, we have a lot of clients that have multiple different products within their product catalog, and we have alerts that are set for when an item stock is low, it will automatically let us know. So therefore we can either shut those ads down or we can alert our team so that we aren't advertising to products that are no longer gonna be there anymore. So it helps you save money and helps you, you know, save your sanity. So the third difference between Shopify Plus and Shopify would be scripts. And these are rules that you can write in the back end that allow you to do all those special things that you're always dreaming you wanna do with your store. So bundles, a discount on bulk orders, VIP benefits for you know, your most loyal shoppers. So those things, unfortunately, you can't do with just Shopify. The fourth difference between Shopify Plus and Shopify is regional stores. So say you operate a business in the US, but you also have a Canadian branch, or this could be literally anywhere else in the world. This allows you to set up two separate stores in either country, and so this helps with exchanges and currencies and whatnot. The next difference would be staff accounts. So if you currently just have a Shopify account, you know that you can only have 15 staff on the account at a given time. But with Shopify Plus, you're allowed to have infinite. So if you have a huge team and you're struggling with passing around passwords and usernames and you don't have enough access, Shopify Plus is gonna give you all the access for all the people. So the last and final difference that we thought was important to note is bandwidth. And Shopify Plus, I wanna just make sure I get this right, can handle up to 10,000 orders a minute. So if you're currently scaling and you need to be able to sell a lot more, Shopify Plus is gonna help you do that. And we all know that every e-commerce owner and marketing manager and really anybody who's involved in the operation, the worst nightmare is is that you get a great press piece or you somehow land on national television or whatever, like people just get hip and they start buying like crazy and then your site goes down. And then not only are you losing that momentum, but you're losing so much money. So if you anticipate that you're gonna be scaling soon or you've got a huge event or a huge press piece that you know is going to just totally up the ante on your orders, Shopify Plus is definitely the way to go. Um, their bandwidth just has the capacity to handle a high volume and a high amount of orders and you have a way less chance of your site going down, which, I mean, you couldn't ask for more. So the big question is, when should I switch to Shopify Plus? 
And our answer, along with most other agencies, as well as probably Shopify, would say that when you start to hit that one to two million mark annually, that would be about the time to think about switching to Shopify Plus. So at that point in time, you're probably going to start hitting these pain points that all of those perks that we just mentioned with Shopify Plus will help alleviate, such as high bandwidth and needing a dedicated account manager and so forth. So if you're not there yet, don't worry, you're definitely going to get there. Shopify, you know, basic, although it's not very basic. <laughs> it's a very robust platform and it can definitely do exactly what you need it to do and, you know, put Shopify Plus on the goal board. Something, you know, exciting and fun to work towards. If after listening to all this, you're like, Shopify Plus is for me, I'm gonna make the switch tomorrow, but it's gonna come at a cost because obviously all those perks, they're not just gonna give those away for free. And typically it's about 0.25% of your monthly revenue. And then it's a minimum of 2,000 and a maximum of 40,000. So it's not terrible, but again, if you're not hitting that 1.2 million mark, it's probably not the right choice just yet. And that's all we've got today. I hope if you've been thinking about Shopify Plus or you're starting to hear the chatter on the internet, people are like getting into forums saying like, Shopify Plus, it's changing my store. I hope that this was helpful to figure out why, what's the buzz all about. If you liked this video, please subscribe below. We will be back next week with something interesting that has to do with e-commerce and social advertising. If after listening to this, you're like, I'm ready for Shopify Plus, but I don't really want to go through the process and we'd love for someone to do that for us. We would be happy to and there is a link in the description below to get in touch. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week and I hope Shopify treats you well.